New information tonight from Asheville's police chief about how the city's new plan to fight crime in downtown will work. Take a look at this crime heat map. This is from the Asheville Police Department. And it shows why they say this is needed. You can see the high concentration of crime police say is happening right there in the downtown area. News 13's Andrew James shows us what led to the changes that start one week from Monday. A spokesperson for the Asheville Police Department tells me downtown continues to have one of the highest concentrations of violent crime in the city. And it's that type of data that city leaders say calls for this new initiative addressing safety concerns. I've been followed to my car. I've had knives pulled on me. I've had things thrown at me because they could not be stolen from the store. The homeless were entering the building using our public bathrooms to perform sexual favors in exchange for money and drugs. The stories from downtown workers are emotional and scary. In recent months, many have called for more police presence in the heart of the city. Right now, what we're seeing and what our data is showing is downtown, there's a clear need. Asheville Police Chief David Zach says those stories translate to data showing increases in property crime and violent crime in downtown Asheville. Those increases are coupled with APD staffing shortages. We're moving personnel at APD around every single day to areas where the need seems to be the greatest. And that can change. And even during this 60 day period, that could change and we will redeploy resources as they are necessary. Increased police presence is a main focus of the 60 day downtown safety initiative, which will feature foot and bike patrols, something Chief Zach tells me the department has not done consistently for some time. Those patrols will be complemented by Asheville Fire's community responder pilot program, focusing on supporting people in crisis and other city departments monitoring public parking garages and prioritizing community cleanliness. How quickly do you expect to see results from this initiative? Well, I think you evaluate it. You know, you, you don't evaluate it week by week. We'll see what happens at the end of 30 days. We'll see what happens at the end of 60 days. It's difficult to, to, to put an exact time frame. We'll see where we are at the end of 30 days. We'll see where we are at the end of 60, and we'll evaluate our success then. In the city of Asheville, we'll also be doing downtown safety assessments. We'll have more information included in this story at WLOS.com about how you can request one of those assessments. Reporting in Asheville, Andrew James, News 13.